So over the past, past few days, two days actually, I built this. My first vertical axis wind turbine. Here's how I built it. You guys may remember my old wind turbine that I made a couple years ago, and I made a video about it probably earlier this year. But, well, I tried upgrading it, actually tried to finish it, and I kind of broke it, broke all the fins off of it. So, I say, since I'm back to square one, I might as well change the design and make it a vertical axis wind turbine. Because this turns out pretty good. I'm going to try to make it very light by the uh, the wind scoops or whatever. we will be made out of these bakery trays, bakery racks or whatever. They're made to hold bread and stuff. Basically, I'll curve one of them, and then I'll duct tape some, like, like a trash bag or something over it, or uh, plastic, and that'll give it the surface area. And for the base itself, I'm going to start with a, with a, a bed frame I found in the woods, and weld a piece of an antenna tower to it. So there's all water together. Let's get the uh, spinny bit on there now. So the stand's already done. That's what, half an hour? Not much work at all. Looks pretty scrappy, but oh well. So now we're gonna have to figure out a way to make the fins that'll turn this, which one turn, turn our motor. Generator, I mean. And this is the tricky part, because I know these are pretty springy, but I think I can bend them by putting them between a log or something like that, and then dropping something heavy onto them. Well, I was going to use three fins until I found I had this laying around. And I can use that as like a center mounting piece. So I'll make another one of these. And I'll have four fins. Even though I think four fins might be a little bit more unstable. Because I believe you're supposed to have, or I, I believe it's best to have odd, an odd number of fins. But oh well. This design is going to be very sloppy. Because I'm actually kind of hoping that it would break. Because I want to know how it's going to break. 
and so how I can design the next one not to break. And also this is just made out of crap I have laying around, so it's not going to be very exact. So here it is all loaded together, and I've kind of uh, scratched out where the pulley should go. And in order to link the two together, I'm going to take these two rods, I'm going to have this up a little higher than it is, maybe, and maybe weld it like that, I don't know. That might be a little too flimsy. <laughs> So here's the rotor, or whatever you want to call it. Very, very flimsy. I didn't want to weld it all the, all the way, and then wouldn't be able to take it apart if I needed to alter it. But let's put it on the, to the uh, the base now. Ah, oh, that's beautiful. I love this. Ha. Ah, a little warm too. A little warm. Very unsturdy. A little lopsided. Probably gonna fall over. That's awesome. And I'll probably hook something between here to keep it sturdier. I touched up the welding a little bit so it's a lot stronger now. And here comes the part of adding the service area to it. I'm going to put the trash bag over the back side. I think I'm going to cut the trash bag in half so one trash bag will be two fins. So only two trash bags in total. I w originally I was wanting to put it on the inside or the, the front side of the scoop because then whenever the wind would push it, it would push it against this. But unfortunately, if I were to do that and I were to tension it, it would try to pull the plastic out. But if I put it on the back side and I tension it with duct tape, then it would it would stretch over this frame. Well, that turned out really nice. I'm pretty happy. Unfortunately, it probably won't last too long. Maybe like one or two rains or whatever, but I imagine this duct tape will start popping off pretty soon. Well, let's get it up onto the uh, frame and see how much rotation we get.
Well, unfortunately, we don't have much wind today. We've got a couple gusts every so often, though. Whenever I turn it the other way, it stops a lot quicker. So that means that there is more pushing, uh, there is more uh, resistance when wind hits it this way as opposed to hitting it that way. So that's good. Well, I'd say my first wind turbine, or my vertical wind turbine, is finished. Now all I have to do is worry about how to convert the rotation into electricity. I have a few ideas I'm going to try, but I'd like to have your guys' input too. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching. See ya.